Hello, I am Vashadharan Singh from West Virginia University. Today I am going to talk about converting carbon dioxide into useful fuels and chemicals using nano heaters and sunlight. First, let me ask you a question. What is your most favorite animal? Mine is polar bear. But do you know, sometimes we might have to say goodbye to them forever. All of us need to use some kind of energy for our daily activities. 80% of this energy demand is fulfilled by burning off fossil fuels. However, in addition to energy, it generates excess amount of carbon dioxide as well. Do you know what is the annual generation of carbon dioxide in the United States? Is? It's a huge amount that can even fill the Grand Canyon. We all know that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, which means excess carbon dioxide would increase Earth's temperature. As we saw, two weeks ago in Antarctica. This can affect our lives in different ways such as severe weather conditions, melting polar ice, increasing sea level. Actually that's why I said that we might have to say goodbye to them as well. So we are introducing a method to convert excess carbon dioxide into useful fuels and chemicals such as methane. How do we do this? It is known that hot zinc oxide can readily do this conversion. But we cannot use fossil fuels to heat up the zinc oxide since it is against our main objective which is reducing excess carbon dioxide. So we have developed nano heaters that can heat up the zinc oxide under sunlight. These nano heaters are nothing but tiny gold particles. Do you know how small they are? Actually one gold particle is 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Due to their smaller size, they can absorb sunlight very efficiently and generate a massive heat that can heat up the zinc oxide. That's why we call them nano heaters. Now our hot zinc oxide can efficiently convert carbon dioxide into methane. We have successfully done this in our labs. This method not only reduces excess carbon dioxide, but it generates methane that can be used as an alternative fuel and an industrial chemical. Thank you very much.